Hello everyone and welcome to our today's session. As usual, I'm your host Eriko Banks and this is Code Star Technologies. And as I promised you in our today's session, we are going to cover uh, geocoding. Uh, remember nowadays, if you're doing an application that is going to work with clients, in most cases you will need to uh, get to know like um, where your clients are coming from, things like those ones and so forth. So it's good to get to know how to work with geocoding. And before we start our today's session, uh, you need to know that uh, uh, we offer free materials. For those who guys uh, may be uh, in universities, colleges and so forth, you can get access to free resources. As you can see, there are some of the courses that we are charging free of charge. That is, they are free. Uh, so you can enroll in these cases and you'll get access to a number of resources like um, for example let me choose this course as you can see it has got this number of units and if maybe you want to see the resources on uh, maybe computer maths you can see on J uh, boolean algebra and so forth you can click on download uh, in case you want to join the class though we don't offer classes for these free sessions uh, for these free courses uh, but this is how it looks like being on code star technologies Still, we are going to uh, make our system to be uh, that user friendly. Also, we need your comments. So, uh, again, make sure you subscribe on our channel because we have got a lot of uh, videos that are lined up. Like, for example, we have got uh, Lipana Mpesa. Uh, this is one of the tutorials that you don't get a clear information on YouTube, but I'm going to do one of the best because. Um, I had to face the same challenges, but um, I know once I do the one that you are going to uh, 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 to feel good about it, it will be a simplified thing. Then also we will work with uh, SMS APIs and uh, also I have a, uh, uh, some courses that I'm working on, uh, especially on things like, um, I know you don't cover on uh, Python. So that's why sometimes I am focusing on uh, doing uh, uh, some of the courses that maybe you don't cover in universities and college so that I can equip you in a way that uh, when you come out and start looking for a job with these kind of skills, it will be a very easy thing for you. Remember, uh, for those guys who are um, uh, maybe have been in the industry for years, you know very well how it is challenging to come out uh, without these kind of skills, uh, and this is as, these are some of the skills that you are going to be asked by the employer. So I I am doing a lot of uh, I am doing uh, course on R programming, Python programming, data science, web development on um, um, Node JS framework that is JavaScript and uh, even uh, Django and so forth. So a lot is coming up, and uh, again on our code star courses. We normally offer uh, these courses we normally give what we refer to as the 24 7 live support uh, that is not live support, but that is support full support on uh, when, when you are when you are learning so once we have the lesson live sessions again you will give an assignment again you will have access to ask questions and so forth anytime that you feel like uh, because we have a team of uh, uh, well uh, experienced guys let's Go back to our session and uh, as I told you that we are going to work on uh, geocoding and um, I came across this challenge uh, like two years ago. I didn't know anything about geocoding uh, but I came across two clients. One was, was asking about how you can work with uh, speed governors that uh, normally use GPS and so forth. You can go and do a research for that. And uh, this was something that NTSA wanted to implement. And um, this gave me a challenge. So I went back to do my research. And I found that uh, the only thing I knew is Google, Google Maps. But I found that uh, Google, you have to disclose your credit card so that you can get first of all to the free uh, package. Then I had to start uh, doing my research. And I came across these two APIs. Uh, these two sites they normally offer um, uh, free APIs you don't need to disclose, disclose anything to do with uh, your credit cards and so forth so as you can see this is MapQuest 
and map quest uh, they, you, they normally give you this per month with zero and they have uh, quite a number of APIs that you can work with uh, so you can check on this list uh, I think yeah I think it's this list so you can you will do your research on this so it is map quest developers but I also came across with the uh, open cage uh, data this one it's good to master the, 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 the web address so I came across with this one and this one you can do both forward and reverse your coding now this gave me the challenge because I didn't know anything about it so I had to learn on how to work with it and I did my application here this is a simple application uh, such that when the client come back because we had agreed about uh, the prices and so forth and they told me okay let's go and check and so forth blah 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 a lot of stories but I was preparing myself and also learning at the same time so I did this system so I'm going to zip it and uh, uh, share a link on the description so that you can get it and uh, uh, modify it on your own way so just enroll here get um, the API key and make use it on uh, this uh, system and you'll get how, uh, to know how it works uh, so I know that those guys who have worked so you'll just change the API key here on the um, this file called calc it will calculate the distance so the idea is to get uh, the location like for example this one was to compute distance between like for example I'm moving from either Moranga to Vika something like that I will have to give the uh, the, 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 des the the name of the destination of where I'm going and then this API will get the longitude and latitudes of that area and also I'll use JavaScript um, uh, geocoding API something like that it's, I think it is called that so it will get my access of my current location then with that you can compute it's the same same knowledge that we used to use in I think high school something like that compute distance and so forth so you'll compute the distance between the two then multiply by the um, current rate like if it is 100 per kilometer something like like that and then get the price so these are the two uh, APIs that you can use MapQuest and open ca uh, cage data something like that so master those two let me show you how the application work so I am using WAMP and my WAMP I think it's running uh, this is it yes so I will just type local host and uh, I'll choose my hub which is task hub, taxi hub and I will use my phone number so in case you want to contact me you can contact me easily so 0700711233 um, then I will say maybe I'm going to Thika currently I'm in Moranga as we as do this video uh, so let me say Thika Kenya then once you enter that it is going to locate at it locates the area as you can see it's very fast this is distance in kilometer then what you're going to pay and if you are okay with it just click to request the want though on this other side I'm, I don't have a database for that I just did only that part of a uh, uh, geocoding and uh, uh, as I always did for the client they didn't come back so I just chose it as a a learning session so it will show you the car or driver contact and so forth then you will know how to integrate with Lipana Mpesa I will do a video for that so guys I appreciate make sure you subscribe uh, I have a lot of uh, videos that I'm going to do because remember I have had experience on this field of IT for over seven years I've been in the uh, as a trainer I've been working as a trainer and I know some of the challenges that uh, you guys go through in campus and uh, colleges so feel free to subscribe and uh, get in touch to get access to those free resources thank you once again and have a nice time